The beautiful flower with a delicate heart will now begin to blossom. With these words, the Friedrich Rebbe describes his beloved grandmother, Rebetzin Rivka. Raised an orphan in the home of the Mittler Rebbe, her wisdom and sensitivity earned the approval of her father-in-law, the Tzemach Tzedek, and her husband, the Rebbe Maharash. One wintry Friday night, the Rebbe Roshav took his son, the Friedrich Rebbe, by the hand and led him to Rebbe Tzemach's home. She began to tell him stories, and the young boy was captivated. From that week on, every Shabbos, and eventually every day after Cheder, the Frida Karebe sat by his grandmother and absorbed the treasure of the history of the Rabbein. With his holy pen, the Frida Karebe shared this treasure with us. A wealth of stories have shaped the thinking and way of life of a Chassid. This we owe primarily to Rabbi and Rivka. Like Rivka Imenu, Rabbi and Rivka's hallmark was extraordinary chesed. Time and time again, the Maharash returned from extended travel to find that she pawned all her jewelry to give Tzedakah with a generous hand. Her warmth and kindness were legendary in Lubavitch, but it was especially the Bachman of Taimchei Tzmimim who were the recipients of her outstanding care and devotion. Concerned with each Bachar's needs, she became known as the mother of the yeshiva. Yud Kislev, Yutas Kislev, and Simchas Taira would find the Bachman around her table as she forbringed and sheared her precious story. At 18 years old, the Semach Tzedek guided Rebbe and Rivka to live a life of essence to live Dabini, and benched her with long years. All of her years, she lived to live Dabini, focused on Elikus, Chassidus, and Chassidim, until Yud Shva Tafresh Ayin Dalit, when Daidi Yara the Ganai Lokai Cheshanim, Hashem went down to gather the roses, to gather in this Tzadikis, a rose that had blossomed in full glory. But the unique fragrance of this delicate rose would fill our world once again. When the Frida Gareba arrived in America, he founded a school for girls. Face Rivka, the house of Rivka, would be the prototype for Lubavitcher girls' schools around the world. Here, each girl is instilled with Ga'ain Yaakov, Yiddish pride, and empowered to be Kishayshana Bein Hachaychem, to retain our pure, delicate beauty despite a thorny Gala Seti. Here, each girl emulates the legendary kindness of Revitz and Rivka within our community and adds Shulchas around the globe. Here, each girl lives with the Hasidisha warmth generated by Revitz and Rivka's legacy of stories. Basi Lagania Chaisi Kaba, Hashem's garden is filled with one rose and another and another. Thousands of girls who have been nurtured and watered with the Rebbe's vision of what Neshe Ubanais Chabad will accomplish. As we mark a hundred years since the passing of Rebbe Tzimrifka, we gather renewed strength to usher in Yiftach Hasheshana, the full bloom of the Geulah HaMitas Hashlema now. Pero